Welcome. This is going to be a reading for my Aries. Let's get straight into the reading. Um, this is just going to be a look at what comes up in energy. Um, so I'm excited to see what random things pop up. And let's get into the energy. If you're new, welcome. My name's Crystal. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my readings. All that information to book me, follow me on my social medias, um, my other YouTube channel, all that will be listed below. All right? Aries. First card we have, we have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. So for a lot of you, this is you trying to prioritize your personal happiness, your personal feelings. I'm I'm picking up this energy where a lot of my Aries are starting to realize that for the most part, you've been basically neglecting yourself emotionally, where you've been allowing other people's needs and their feelings to almost be more important than yours, or you take it in consideration more often than your own. And a lot of you are starting to realize this via like certain situations coming up, um, regardless of what is triggering you to realize this, you guys are definitely trying to put your personal feelings first instead of always allowing the outside world kind of put you in this like mindset of needing to put other people first. Okay. Um, I also see stuff concerning family that's important for you guys or you guys either trying to pay closer attention to your family unit, whether that's like you being a parent or you being, you know, someone who doesn't have the best relationship with certain family members. Um, this is also prevalent. Hmm. I'm also seeing you guys possibly having an interest in getting like a new companion. So this could be like you getting like an animal or something. You may have recently felt kind of uh, lonely or just needing, like I said, a, a source of like comfort, not through another person. So you may be wanting to get like an animal or something like that. If you have an animal already, a bird or a cat, I would definitely take it to the vet to get look, looked at. Okay, we also have the emperor. So this is about you guys, again, prioritizing your responsibilities. You guys also getting a lot of like things that you may have been um, procrastinating on. Finally done. This is like taking the initiative to, you know, finally clean up a certain part of your house that you may have been putting off or finally you um, getting back into the flow of like a business or if you did have to take some time off from a job or something, this is you getting back into grind mode. Something could be triggering you to also boss up in a sense. This is like you realizing that what you've been settling for is nothing. And let me not even say realizing, because you guys may have really realized this a long time ago, but this is you taking the initiative finally after being triggered. So this is like being triggered into bossing up or getting something under control. Um, I also see this energy of you guys either having someone around you or you guys being stubborn this could be there being like a disagreement between you and your person and there's like a level of stubbornness whether again it's you or this person doing it um i also see this energy of you guys like really just feeling firm on something or wanting to stand firm on something after realizing that you've been just too lenient and people have been taking advantage of that okay we have the king of pentacles okay we have some really good cards coming out 
We have the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the King of uh, Pentacles. So this is you prioritizing finances, your health. This is you taking your practical matters a lot more serious. Some of you may have, like I said, been in not the best mental space or just in the best energy. And this is you wanting to now like get out of this rest mode or out of this like foggy, I don't know where I'm going perspective you may have been adopting and adopting more of a I need to get shit done mindset I also see you guys also looking at your health and some of you may have certain health ailments that you don't necessarily want to hinder you from doing what you want to do here and this is you guys trying to like I said keep pushing yourself to either improve your health or to not let your health ailments stop you from doing what you need to do. There's also a look at trust and loyalty here. There may be someone around you who you have to question their loyalty or whether or not they're trustworthy and if it's worth giving them your energy, attention, time, all of that. You guys also may have some new ideas in terms of how you can make money that you may possibly be wanting to explore. You know that it may take some money to make some money. So you may be trying to find ways, like I said, to get your finances in order for like a strategy or a plan you're trying to put in place. We also have the five of swords. I see something here also about um, a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo kind of coming up here. But um, with the five of swords now. Hmm. There could be this energy of you guys either going through like a really nasty argument with someone. You may have recently went through this or you will in the future. Um, who this argument may be with is very much, you know, based off of who you are and just the circumstance itself. It really could be anyone. But with the Five of Swords, there may be like a really bad argument or you guys realize somebody's been playing a whole bunch of games and it makes you really want to cut this person off. Like where you may have been giving this person way too many chances at one point, it's like now you're at a point where you're like, look, I'm just not even going to give you any more. I'm good. Okay. Um... Some of you also may be like, have a moments where you want to like mentally or not even want to you mentally like self-sabotage or you start like talking bad to yourself mentally because whenever I see this card this is like negative thoughts that ensue into like thoughts that manipulate you into thinking that the circumstance is way different than what it is or like thoughts that like keep you from really taking action the way you're supposed to. I hope that you guys get what I'm trying to say. But with the five of swords here, again, like I said, this could be you having a moment where you're trying to rise above like whatever circumstance you're going through, but then you start talking down to yourself or you start thinking like just really negative thoughts. And you guys may need to be careful of this because this may send you into a spiral. Um, so be careful, uh, just understand that it's just your thoughts playing tricks on you and it's not reality. Okay. And I, I feel like I have to say this a lot, but anyways, um, we also have the seven of wands here. So, Hmm. Energy wise, you guys may have some days, um, or even moments where you feel very, very like, Like you're struggling in a sense. And when I say this, not in a sense of like struggling financially, for some of you that could be the case, but this is more of like your energy struggling. You're like trying to stay focused. You could have distractions or like little obstacles that try to like throw you off. So be careful of letting little obstacles that are trying to throw you off actually throw you off and keep you off your trajectory. Okay. 
So I'm going to stop right here. I hope you enjoyed and that you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the description, comment section for any information that you may need, and I will see you later.